Hi, my name is Sylvia Maguina, MFM Coach Consultant for the School of Online Business. And I am here today at this lake, really beautiful on a summer August day. And I actually wanted to share this special experience with you. Uh, but before I do that, I actually want to talk to you about this free app that I've been using during my phase two research. And this is actually research that all the students go through, like yourself. It's a very useful tool that I was actually recommended to by Luke Anderson. So credit goes to Luke. And I just want to uh, really quickly uh, make this tutorial to show you how you can use this tool called Evernote, as well as another tool called Google Keep. And these are free online applications that you can use to store and record any websites that you come across during your research phase and store it for your use later down to see which websites and brands that you want to model in your own business. So take notes as you go through this tutorial and we'll connect soon. Bye. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do here is look up Evernote on Google. And here we can go to their website, evernote.com. And when you get here to their homepage, you're going to download their free app. Now, if you have a Mac, you can download it and uh, it will come up like this. I already have it downloaded on this computer, so I don't have to do that. But if you have a Windows, there's also an Evernote for Windows. So uh, either way, you can use Evernote which with whatever computer you have. So once that's downloaded and installed, you're going to pull up Evernote. They're going to ask you to log in or register for a new account. Uh, you can do that on their website here or on the app that you newly downloaded. So from here, you're going to see there's this notebook section. If you're new to Evernote, this will be all empty. And you can create a new notebook just by clicking on this tab here on the top left, New Notebook. In this case, I'm going to show you one of my previous notebooks. This is for the health and fitness. So I'll just double click and it will open up. And here's where I have stored different websites that I accumulated through my phase two research. And you can put as many websites as you can uh, on Evernote. I don't think there's a limit, at least I haven't found one, <laughs> but uh, you can collect your websites this way. And one other thing is when you go to the notebook section, you can also share it by clicking this arrow here. You have the option of copying and pasting this link so you can give it to your coach consultant and they can look through your notebook when you meet with them after you're done with your research. So that's also a very useful to do too. So you're probably wondering how can I create a notebook and store these websites in there. So once you create a new notebook here and have done that on the top left, what you do is go back to evernote.com and you click on under products, you'll see this app called the Evernote Web Clipper. From here you can download this browser extension for whatever browser you have. In my case, it's Google Chrome, and I have it installed already. So go ahead and install that right now. Now, once that's installed, you're going to see here on the top right of your browser this little icon of Evernote, and this is what you use to clip different websites, either their, the articles of different websites, the full page of the website, or just the URL. There's different options there for you. So, for example, if I wanted to save Evernote 
com web clipper um, for some reason and I wanted to save it under uh, my business marketing notebook and just add a little note this is an organization tool to remember I can do that click on save full page and it'll automatically clip this entire page and save it to my notebook. So overall, really great tool, very easy to use, and hopefully you can use Evernote's Web Clipper for your phase two research. I'm going to be covering as well another app you can use called Google Keep. Okay, so for Google Keep, we're just going to Google that on here, Google Keep. And if you have a Gmail account, you can have access to this app from Google. So I'm already signed in. Uh, that's why it's showing this. But if you have a Gmail account, you're signed in, and you've never used Google Keep before, it's probably going to look like nothing's on here. So how you use Google Keep for your phase two research, all you do is if you land on a website during your research, for example, uh, I'm using daniellaporte.com as a reference here, and I want to save her website onto my research Google Keep uh, app here. All you do is take a screenshot of her website. If you're using a Mac, all you do is Command Shift 4. It's very simple like that. You go back to Google Keep and you have an option here to insert an image. So you just click on that and you find the image that you want to do. And let's see. So here's her image right here. It's uploading and we can also type a note or a title just to organize it a little clearer. Um, I'll just make a small note. She's an author uh, and personal development figure. And then from there we are done and it'll be stored here. You can also play around with different color schemes just to organize it. And um, you can easily delete as well uh, the actual note. Very simple, like in one second, less than a second. And um, you can also archive different notes as well. So if you play around with it, you're going to start to see um, it's really efficient, uh, just like Evernote. There's a lot of different features that Google Keep has that Evernote doesn't have and vice versa. But for me personally, I use Evernote more. So there you have it. This, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me on Facebook. And uh, I look forward to creating more of these kinds of tutorials down the road.